So one of the trends we've seen recently is that a lot of veterinarians are moving away from what had been occurring over the last couple of years of trying to get all of the bells and whistles, all of the toys into a single space and moving more towards the uh, old school way of, of having more purpose-driven spaces and more limited equipment. What's your experience been? We've uh, seen a lot of clients after the economic downturn uh, basically looking for ways of reducing square footage uh, but still have all the functionality in their, in their buildings. So we're using uh, single rooms that can house more functions. Um, anywhere from a special procedures room that would do endoscopy, ultrasound, uh, minor treatments, using that space to do multifunctions. I think we our, our recent inquiries have been that they can't afford the equipment for all those different functions, so they're focusing on the most core items that uh, are going to give them the most return on their investment. And rather than driving up a, a room size to create those multiple functions, they're still keeping the room small and keeping just that one core function that is essential to their business. I got you. Yeah, I mean that's uh, you know one of the big things too is trying to, to lower your overhead, and by doing that, you have to, to choose what are you going to spend that money on. Is it going to be a new piece of equipment, or can you provide a similar service using items that you currently have or have been using over the years? Good point. I th I think that what we're both seeing though is that specific veterinarians have different responses to the new market that we're in and how they're going to control their costs and keep their square footage from growing. Very true.